I have read studies that estimate that probably greater than 50% of cancer patients are doing things other than that recommended by their physicians. And what do I mean by that? I mean alternative or complementary things like yoga, which I think is great, but there are also all sorts of other things out there that have been claimed over the years to be a big help in the treatment of cancer, the treatment of AIDS, the treatment of all sorts of different things. Please remember there's good information on the internet and there's bad information on the internet. And so this video is really going to be all about kombucha tea. Now what is kombucha tea? And what I've got here, that, and we'll provide this as a link at Breast Cancer Answers, is a, a reprint of information from the American Cancer Society on kombucha tea. Kombucha tea is made from fermenting uh, black tea with a flat pancake-like culture of yeast and bacteria called kombucha mushroom. It's not really a mushroom, but it kind of looks like that after you get done brewing it. There are people who are brewing this stuff at home, sort of making up their own brew. There are commercially available forms of kombucha tea. Um, and in the overview provided by the American Cancer Society notes that there's virtually no, I want to repeat this, there's virtually no scientific information that supports the claims made about kombucha tea, that it promotes good health, that it prevents almost any ailments, uh, that it works to treat cancer and all sorts of other uh, diseases. It's been promoted as a cure-all uh, in uh, things like baldness, uh, insomnia, intestinal disorders, arthritis, chronic fatigue syndrome, and AIDS as well as cancer. The concept here of this tea and this mixture, if you will, of yeast, bacteria, and black tea brewed up is that it's boosting the immune system. Again, I certainly have not seen, nor have the experts at the American Cancer Society seen actual data that really supports this. So what's the downside? Well, the downside of this stuff is that people have died from kombucha tea. Uh, there have been serious ailments reported in the literature. Now, as you can tell just from the tone of my voice, uh, I'm not really a fan of this stuff uh, at all. I'm only a fan of those things that have been scientifically validated. And I'm a big advocate of complementary care. The things like meditation and yoga and obviously all the heart healthy things that I've talked about uh, over the past several months here at Breast Cancer Answers. But when it comes to something like this that's been out there for a while, all sorts of claims are being made about it, um, I have to raise the warning flag and say, please be careful. I want you to, if any of you are considering using kombucha tea or you're already currently using it, then I'm gonna strongly advise that you read this uh, document uh, from the American Cancer Society. There are other reports out there as well. Please come to Breast Cancer Answers, check out the link, check out what reputable sources are saying. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.